Alright, so it's time to check the voting polls for the rated R tier. You guys got two options. Let's see how the votes turned out and let's see the result. Alrighty, so let's check the posts. Alright, so let us see what we got in the voting poll. So the mature rating poll, Chivalry of the Failed Knight won by, wow, by miles. So let's check out the rated R tier. So basically we had Borderline Hentai or Extreme Gore. And you guys, 53% of you guys went for Borderline Hentai. You sick sons of bitches. What up, B geeks and dudes and dudettes? My name is Diva Geek, and yes, welcome to a brand new Rated R show. Actually, this is probably going to be more Rated R than High School DxD. Yes, the people over on Patreon, the freaking perverts over on Patreon, voted for a Testament of the New Sister Devil. And apparently this is borderline hentai. <laughs> so, prepare for extreme demonetization here on the channel. But if you guys want to see the completely uncensored version and unfiltered and uncut, and you want to see me get embarrassed and all awkward and stuff over on the DB Sama page, that's where you get access to the uncut, unfiltered and uncensored versions of the Rated R tier. Right there you'll find High School DxD alongside other Rated R shows and right now, Testament of New Sister Devil, which is the newest show and as you can see, we are a few episodes ahead over there with the Rated R tier. So if you guys are interested in seeing me, like I said, get all awkward and weird and don't know what to say in these weird hentai-like moments in this show, that's the place to go. But over here on YouTube, you're not going to see those moments, you're not going to see those reactions, you're only going to see my reactions to the actual, um, I want to say, plot to the show. So if you want to do that, go head over to the DB Summit page right now, become a Patreon supporter, and get access to all of the greatness over there. Anyway, dudes, that being said, yes, we're going to be starting a brand new show, The Testament, New Sister Devil. I have no idea what this is about, but people said it's very close to high school DxD, except it's borderline hentai and it can get seriously, seriously messed up. And, you know, I'm going to experience it. We're going to see, you know, how it's, how bad it is or whatever. Of course, I'm going to be watching the uncensored versions um, because it is rated R. And I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, but apparently the story is actually pretty decent. Um, I don't know if it's going to be as good as High School DxD, because as you know, I really love High School DxD. Um, so, I guess, I guess it's going gonna, it's gonna to be weird, and I'm going to find out how bad it actually gets. And I hope, I actually hope it's genuinely a good show. Uh, from what I can see, there's only about 12 episodes, so we'll fly through this quite quickly. Over on the DV Summit page, we do four episode marathons, so this is basically covered in three videos. So, um... Get excited, I suppose, you sick weirdos out there that love watching this kind of stuff. And watch me get all uncomfortable and awkward. Yeah. So let's do it. First episode of Testament, New Sister Devil. Here we go. Here it is. First episode, the day I got a little sister. Whoa, that's insanely low. There we go. Is he the main protagonist? I'm guessing he is. You've got a cute little sister. Why did he say that like, real pervy? <laughs> if that's his dad, then they look insanely alike. Exact same haircut. Is this is this really gonna be like hentai? And just a... Okay, I can't pause it like that. Hang on. And just a quick, quick disclaimer. Okay, I don't actually watch hentai. Like, honestly, I don't. So I have no knowledge of that section of the weeb or the otaku or whatever. <laughs> um, I I never really watched hentai. I, I've seen little things now and again, like from friends or whatever. I never actually watch it because I don't. I'm not particularly into that. So if there's stuff in this with hentai qualities, then prepare for the weirdest reactions from me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm nervous. 
That means his, his sister's gonna be stepsister. Okay. All right then. You walked into the wrong bathroom, you dope. Uh oh. What are you doing? Bro, you're making this worse. Just leave the fucking room. Just leave the room. You're between her fucking legs. Leave the room. If you didn't want to be a pervert the first time, now you surely look like one. Scream. Oh! Yeah, you totally deserve that, you fucking looter. Go on, let him have it, girl. What? Oh, that's his uncle. Wait, what? Naruto, Basara. What was the little one? We got a lolly as well. We got we got another lolly, bro. Wait, she's gonna be able to. Where is this going? Where is this going? Hang on, hang on, hang on. This dude gets a new stepsister, and then his guardian leaves the country for a while. Hmm. This is starting to sound like the beginning pitch of a cheap porno. Whoa! Whoa! We got... Oh, pie! Hey, you don't say good morning to somebody that you don't know like that? Uh-huh! You... You what? You what? He's dreaming, right? She doesn't know the guy. She slapped him previously for being weird and perverted, and now she's dry humping the dude. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait, why is she going under the blankets? <laughs> Wait, what is that? Is porn stash? What is that? <laughs> What the fuck? What, what did you guys vote for? What? what the fuck? That's a video game? Japanese video games, dude. Wait! Whoa! Alright then. Oh! How can you call him a pervert when you were the, word dr you were the one dry humping him a second ago? <laughs> this is... Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is just like DXC. That's what you dress in when you cook? Wait, what? what's this one up to? Oh, that was her video game? Wait. What? Are you sure this is not a hentai? Because it just feels like it's leading to one. She's dropping hints for him to do stuff that's nothing to do with, like, protecting them, but eventually having to protect himself. <clears throat> right. Continue. Yeah, dad, say something. Well, he's a shit parent. She kind of reminds me of Rias, but like a more sensitive one. Very similar hairstyle, actually. Well, hair color, anyway. Want to have fun with us? Fucking weirdos. Oh, come on. It's broad daylight. Who does that? Oh. Oh! Nice one, dude! Bike to the face! Alright! Use groceries for the attack! Let's go! And he manages to take the girl and save the rest of the groceries. My dude. Oh, come on. No, no flowy top shapes them like that. Okay, you can't have loose everywhere else and tight up here. Okay, you don't care how big they are. So he's like a photographer then. Dubai? What the freak? So now he's leaving. Where is this going? Leave the house? 
Wait, what the shit just happened? What the heck? Why do they have magic? And why are their clothes disappearing? The elves? She's got less clothes, she's got wings and a tail! Demon Lord? We got more Demon Lords, bro? Oh, okay, we got some interesting plot going on here. Alright, we got- we got butts! We got butts! I'm getting- I'm getting major DXD vibes from this, dude. Ah, uh, maybe that's why she was like really sorry. When- okay. Maybe she felt a little bad. Shit. Okay, he's not listening. Wait, what the hell? Has he got powers? Okay, maybe he's got powers already. I was expecting this dude to like develop something, like you know, kind of like DXD, but he's already a fucking badass. He's a hero then. You picked the wrong house. You picked the wrong house, girls. Wow, he stopped. That's an impressive sword, bro. Oh, this is serious. Shit. He's a total badass, like already. That's crazy. Alright, so that is his dad, sorry. That's his dad, that's their uncle, and their mother apparently left town. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, sure, the dad already knows. I was wondering if the dad, how could the dad be so easily fooled? Well, he wasn't. Oh, shit, what's that? So he actually has to protect her then, I'm guessing. Sending what? Yeah, you really need to fill in your son here, bro. Whoa. Whoa, she's strong. This lolly's a badass. Oh, shit. Oh, no, Mio. Okay, so the, it seems that they've had troubling childhoods. He's loads of time though, she's falling in slow mo, so it's all good. Nice! He wall righted that shit! Nice, bro. Whoa! My boy! He's like a more experienced Issei. <laughs> My family. So he's gonna protect them. He's gonna be the big bro! He's gonna look after them! So there it is! That was the first episode of Testament's new sister devil. Um, I actually enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed it. It really does have that high school DXD feel to it. Uh, we've got demons and demon lords, and we got heroes, and like, do you say angels as well? I don't know. But we got heroes, which is this guy, Basara, and he seems cool. You know, he seems like somebody that's really experienced. That, I was not expecting that. Honestly, I wasn't. I was expecting him to be, like, this protagonist that gets roped into this different world. And, uh, you know, starts to understand that there's more than just humans. That he's completely inexperienced and has to learn the ropes. But it turns out he's already a badass. He's immediately, instantly a badass. Knows what he's doing. Knows how to fight. Already a hero. And so is his dad. And these two devils or demons... Um, infiltrated his home thinking that they could use it as refuge um, but turns out it was a hero's home so jokes on them but now it seems that the father thinks that this girl needs to be protected at all costs told the son now the son is protecting them and now he's going to be the big brother the Nissan of the family and uh, look after them so you know all in all this was quite enjoyable I mean the, the, the moments in this that were a little bit weird were funny um, I don't see why she had to dry hump him in the morning but, you know, I think she's very young and naive. She wasn't understands what the hell is going on. But for someone that's young and naive, she's very well developed, is all I'm going to say. Um, but all in all, interesting. Um, like I said, it feels like high school DXD. But apparently it's worse in ways that I don't need to explain. And I look forward to the next few episodes. And I'm still a little nervous about the next few episodes as well.